So what is this? Is a this... YouTube video. Okay. <laughs> no, but... <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Rachel Does Thing. really want to film a segment on my youtube channel where we also where we film a podcast together but we just tried and it was really embarrassing rachel couldn't form a thought <laughs> no i could but i just felt so much pressure because i knew that if i started i couldn't edit it out so i just didn't really speak <laughs> she was just focusing on how she was talking instead of what she was saying she just exactly. didn't say anything exactly anyway so in today's video we're going to be reacting to your unpopular opinions pretty crazy first one is is that the harry potter book and movie series aren't good I think I've you're going to watch it. Never I've watched never watched it. a single Harry Potter or book or read a book, nothing, and I don't plan on it. I've never read a book. <laughs> I've never read a book. <laughs> and I actually, I I thought that I was weird because I watched Harry Potter for the first time with Charlotte Reeves and she introduced me to it and we watched we had like a marathon and watched the whole thing and I did like it. Like I did actually really like it. But one thing I don't understand is how it never dies. Like you know It's still going. Huh? It's still going. They're still filming. No. Oh, I they just never mean, dies like, as like, in popularity. Yeah, like, hey, think about Primark. Crazy that, like, in shops that you go to, they always sell Harry Potter stuff. Like, it just, like, it's, like, a really big fandom, and I don't yeah. think it should be as big as it is. I don't even know what it's about, but you don't need to explain. Okay. But should we do one, 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 one? Okay. The beach isn't a fun place to go, it's sandy and dirty. Hey, you know what you just said? You just sounded like Ed Sheeran, you went, the beaches and the best place to find your lovers of the forest, where I go. You just sound like Ed Sheeran, seriously. Okay, well, what do you think about that? I think it's wrong, I love the beach. I could not agree with that statement more in my life. <gasps> what, you don't like the beach? I like the sea. I hate a sand beach. Really? Oh no, stop it. Everyone's there with their towels. Mm. Oh, yeah. Especially going to, no offense, especially going to the beach with you. Rachel will come out of the sea <laughs> so excited and just put, like throw herself on our towel. And yeah. there'll be sand everywhere. And then yeah. when you try to eat, there'll be sand in the food. Mm -hmm. And then you're stuck, there's sand everywhere for days. Yeah, mm, this one seems to ring a bell. Um, Rihanna's overrated. Oh, I don't remember talking about that. <gasps> okay, so what do you think? Yeah, do you think she's overrated? Like, she hasn't released anything. Like, yeah, she has Fenty is Beauty. She, she is has all she that. Is she not overrated? Like, people don't talk about her. People worship the ground she walks on. She and it. rightfully so, it's Rihanna. But I do think she's overrated. Like, there's mm. artists that, like, release a lot better stuff than her, like, recently. Yeah. And she still gets, like, the pedestal hype. Because of who she used to be. Yeah. Okay, I haven't even seen her baby. Have I you? have. It's really cute. Is it a boy or a girl? Boy. What's it called? I don't know. Oh. Assisted suicide should be legal bit of a heavy subject. I don't know. Um, assisted suicide, so like euthanasia. They give it to mm. people who are in like, like chronic illnesses. And... I think it should be legal, but it should be very well vetted. Yeah. Because otherwise someone could just like, someone could break up with them and they could have a but crisis and I like just, uh, get into a pod and kill themselves. But did you know that they get, for people with PP, PTSD? P no, BPD. BPD. They um, offer that. Assisted, assisted okay, suicide. Okay, yeah, no, I don't agree with that. Yeah, because they said that that's like. The I think best. if you've got a terminal illness where you're in constant pain or something, then like. I think it's just it's, it's. It's a bit of a touchy subject. It's a touchy subject, and it's not like we don't want to kill ourselves. So yeah. who are we to say? Oh, they shouldn't give assisted suicide. Before I go on to the next one, I just wanted to say, look how much my pajamas are nice. Aren't they just so good? I found them. Kate for found them. them for me. They've got the yin yang sign on, which is just so cool. And, and they were 11 quid. And they were 11 quid. The reason I'm in my pajamas is because we were both going to go in our pajamas, but then. No, she put on her pajamas and she said, Can you wear your pajamas? <laughs> I said, No. Yeah. So now I'm just in my pajamas on my own, but it's okay. You act like you're never in your pajamas. Yeah, I live in them, bless me. Okay. Flirting is cheating. Period. No. Not period. <laughs> not period. I think it's about the intention of the, cheap, mm, the flirting. Yeah. If you have an intention of something to come out of the flirting, it's cheating. <laughs> yeah, it's all about your intention. Yeah. Yeah. And people who can just blanket say that flirting isn't cheating, mm. then it's just like, okay, get cheated on them. Like if you meet someone, flirt with them, and they you fancy each other, what's going to bloody happen? Do you want to read one? Yeah. I feel quite strongly about that one. Yeah. Not like you. Oh, because you have been cheated on, bless you. Yeah. I think. 
we've started with flirting. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys, stay clear. Don't <laughs> stay flirt. clear. <laughs> don't flirt. Okay, you don't need a college degree or uni degree mm -hmm. to get a job. Well, you obviously don't because me and Kate both didn't go to uni. Yeah. But if you want to be like, I don't know, like a lawyer, then obviously like get your bum into uni, I guess. Yeah. That's pretty much it. But I think a lot of people feel pressured to go to uni. Who can relate? <sighs> <laughs> oh, I don't know why, like, there's something in me that can relay, I'm not sure why. <laughs> no, we don't feel pressured to go to uni. But, but our mum would love us to go to uni. Yeah. She would die for it. Yeah. Like, I actually think she might, would, but might actually die for it. Yeah. Dating apps mm -hmm. are a good foundation for a good relationship. Couldn't disagree more. I think that's quite an unpopular opinion. That's a very unpopular opinion. I, yeah, I couldn't, di I... But then what loads of people say? go on dating apps. They must think that it's going to lead something. Personally, to... I think dating apps are a bad, bad foundation for a relationship because, first of all, it's not an organic way to meet someone. Like, mm. it's actually quite weird to go on an app, like, surfing for a boyfriend, like, as if you're shopping for a boyfriend. I personally think dating apps are so weird. And all the relationships I know that have started through dating apps have ended, like, literally tragically. Like, mm. just were met mm. on a dating app. Yeah. I think dating culture in general, this is my personal opinion, which is a very unpopular opinion. Mm -hmm. Probably the most unpopular opinion I have is that dating culture, not just online dating, like dating apps, just dating culture in general is quite weird. Like, do you mean, uh, do you mean like hookup culture? Dating culture, how go people just go on dates. Like I personally find it really oh, weird yeah. to like dip your toes in loads of ponds. Like I'm, I just have, this thing that I just think that you're not meant to give yourself like even if it, I'm not saying like sexually or like relationship wise I just don't think you're meant to give yourself to that many people mm. like I personally think that you should invest in doing that well I once. do think you need mm, I do think you need to explore otherwise you're not gonna know what like do you, you mean well you can't you can't not dip your toes in too much but I think you can do that without dating and like doing like talking stages and like all that like deep stuff like I just, I just think that you can get to know a person without like, like having to go and like date people, pursuing romantic relationships with everyone they bloody meet. I think it's a bit weird. See, I, I, like every, I get people what you're are saying. No, but people are too open to pursue things romantically with just anyone. I get what In you're saying. In my opinion, like oh, that's always oh, flashing red. <laughs> the camera just died, so we've just had to set up Caitlin's phone, but we can't tell if we're actually filming ourselves or not because we're using the back camera. Yeah? yeah? Okay, perfect. Hi, little lovers. Just popping in to say that the quality is going to get a lot better. So just keep persevering. The quality will get better soon, I promise. Oh my gosh. Wow. Baby hairs. Wow. Listening to podcasts is more enjoyable than listening to music. Okay. If I'm cooking, I'll always listen to a podcast. I. I never thought I'd be that girl. Podcasts. Like, no, I'm personally best. for me, like, listening to music, I have people that I love to listen to but if I love to listen to someone I won't listen to them because I want to enjoy listening to them because I get sick of music so easily so like my favorite artists I'll listen to like once a month yeah so like listening to music like I would just I, I'll be honest I just listen to Drake or a podcast sometimes I don't even really listen to them I just like having them on like the yeah. voices I will re-watch re-listen to podcasts no I never ever re-listen to a podcast ever. I always re-listen to a podcast really no only impulsive Really? Mm. I really listen to them when I'm anxious at night. What, like, because you, just to have the voices? Yeah, yeah. and then I don't want to listen because I know what they're going to say. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. I listen to my boss when I'm anxious. <laughs> Money can buy happiness. It can't provide you with fulfilment, but it can aid happiness because money equals freedom and freedom equals happiness. Okay, period. Do you want, do you want to know what my um, two pence is on it? Two pence on it. Yeah. Uh, money can buy happiness, but it can't buy joy. Oh. So what's the difference between joy and happiness? Joy. Happiness is a feeling. Joy is something in your soul. Isn't Joy is like... I got the pizza pack of members down in down in Period, yeah. Down in my heart. That she does sum it up. Down in my heart. I got the pizza pack of Peace and passion, understanding, down in my heart, down in my heart to stay, and I'm, I'm so, so happy, happy, so very happy, yeah, to have the love of Jesus in, in my heart, heart in, in my, my heart. heart. We just harmonize. Ketchup and mayo mixed together is perfection. This is from my guy. This is a bit of a trigger for me and Rach. 
We try not to think about it. And now that's oh, just oh. oh, it's so bad to think about. It's so horrible. Basically, Rachel was actually horrific. No, I know. Okay. The actual act of ketchup and mayo together, bleed and love it. With some chips, Kate, ketchup and mayo is pretty yum. Or in a wrap. I can never look at it the same. Or in a wrap. Should we tell the trauma story or is it too I deep? I can't actually make me feel sick. We've got a really, really traumatic story about ketchup and mayo. No, don't. Like being served on top of like, sort of a steak. No, it wasn't. It was just lumps of meat and stuff. Okay, well, we don't need to talk about it. Anyway. It was basically a ketchup and mayonnaise too. With like actual it was meat. just chicken it was just i don't know chicken they, ketchup they and mayo. didn't tell us what meat was we just put some random meat <laughs> I think literal like mystery a, meat like in pork or mayonnaise something. yeah it was really really bad it's very different for me and rachel because i was served that meal rachel had that meal i was i was served <laughs> it but i didn't eat it we I were both hungry. just as horrified and rachel me and rachel were like, oh oh She's just scoffing it down, well, I was gagging. Hungry. Yeah, but I, I was I was really hungry. We're both traumatised, but she ate it. Yeah, which is even more traumatising. No one forced you. Okay, ready? Yeah. Next question is, the point of life isn't to have children. Everyone's point of life is a little bit different. Some people are made to be mamas, some people are made to be papas, and some people are made not to have kids ever. Period. Slay? That's all I have to say. Next Period. question. Very true. Um, Personally, <coughs> she's ready. No, she's oh, not. Oh, she's got a bun she'll, in the oven. No. Wait, Kate, should we just like pretend you're pregnant and like announce and just see what happens? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> okay, next one. WhatsApp is better than Snapchat. That's Period. from Jodie. Jodie, you're a bit wild for that one. Period. Ah! <laughs> I saw it coming. What the hell, Dad? Move the car. It's oh. not, they're probably coming already in. Oh gosh. Alright. A couple okay. of pieces. Of switch. Okay. Whoa. And I did it. it did it. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Can you jump out this time? For the love of gosh, Kate. For the love of oh. gosh. <laughs> okay. Wait, I'm going to count to three and then we're going to go location check. No. Absolutely location not. change. Okay. One, three, two. two you're one. not going to say it. You're going to think it's funny not to say it. That was the plan. We're not. Can we just go on with it? Only if you say location. I'm gonna run change. out of storage. Only if you say location change. Okay, one, three, two, two, one. Location, location change. change. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So as you can see, we've changed location, but we're gonna carry on. Um, next one. Um, next one is from my gal Leah. Avocado is repulsive. Did we already say that one? We did it on podcast. Is no anyone that tries to say it, it's like oh so yum. No, okay, it's not. I I do think it's so yum. Rachel, it tastes of fat. Have you ever had it with salt? No. Probably why you haven't been liking it. You shouldn't need to put salt on things if they're nice. Okay, <laughs> yeah, personally, I can't eat dinner without salt. You used to say, um, I've given up salt and I put garlic on all my food and it <laughs> works. And since then, I've been trying to do that mm. for sodium levels. Yeah, because I, like I think it. my sodium levels are through the roof. Anyway, next one. Oh, we were going to read this and then we didn't because we got interrupted by dad. WhatsApp is better than Snapchat. And you were like, yeah. And I was yeah. like, no. I'm waiting for your reaction. Period. Oh, please sod off if you're going to try tell me that you like Snapchat. No, I don't. We like don't Snapchat. use Snapchat. I know we don't use Snapchat. You use WhatsApp more than Snapchat. I don't really use either of them all that much. I use, I use Snapchat to talk to you and to talk to like two group chats. And sometimes I video message Leah. But now we seem to talk on like message more. Don't but get I think, me wrong, I don't particularly like WhatsApp. Like, I wouldn't message my friend. I sure would. No, I think I use, I definitely use Snapchat more than I use WhatsApp. So, if you look personally, to my screen, you disagree. She's lying because her, if you looked at her screen time, <laughs> I'll probably go Instagram, Team Mad's WhatsApp group chat. Okay, yes, yeah, so true. This girl, your full time job, you could put it on your LinkedIn that you yeah. run. I live the family Mads. group chat. When we, me and Rachel go anywhere, we could literally go to the shop. She'd be like, should we FaceTime Team Mads? <laughs> when, did, when did that happen where he kept FaceTiming me and you got we so annoyed? We went to Corfu. Oh and I, I'm not joking. I would literally step out the bathroom. Let's FaceTime Team Mads. I just love FaceTiming Team Mads, We okay. could be doing anything and do want to FaceTime I live for Team Mads. Mads. You love a family, like, group call. But do you know what's really sad? 
No one else loves it as much. No one else loves it as much as me. No, I... but Mum posts every. I'm the one who loves it the least. You never ever respond to anything that I say on the family group chat, and it does you say hurt a my feelings. Lot. It does hurt my feet. I don't respond to anyone. It's not personal. Okay. I'd rather drive in silence than listen to music. Depends on the day. <laughs> Depends on the moment. <laughs> No, Depends really. on the mood. Yeah, no, but really. No. Sometimes, like, I put on the radio and I'm just like, oh, this is just really peeing me off. Today. I have never once in my entire life, I don't know how to turn on the radio in my car. I've never <laughs> turned... Really? I've never, not even for a second. Do you have one? Yeah, but it's not tuned. So uh, it's really yeah, fair enough. Personally... Oh, my gosh, I've just made eye contact with the camera for the first time. This is so crazy. <laughs> um, personally... I'm on either end of the spectrum. I will be blasting it so that like the whole like mile radius could probably hear me coming <laughs> or podcast. But mm. silence if I'm praying. Silence if you're praying. What, not a good worship song on in the background? Mm. Do you get distracted? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to read it out? The croc trend is ugly, sent in by yours truly. Um, personally, I really like Crocs, but I think that they should be worn in the equivalent to how slippers are worn. I think they should be worn in the age bracket of four to ten. Oh, see, I personally just stop wearing them out, please. No, but Kate, stop I stop it. Don't you think stop that they should? Stop wearing them with socks. Or no, they should just be worn as slippers. Slippers People are wearing and them out. I would, I would wear a little Croc moment out as long as I was wearing them boys as wearing, slippers boys or sliders. Wearing crocs. Boys wearing Crocs, I think that's that's quite fit, to be honest. Because it means that they just don't no, care. No, it, no, but they're doing it because they think it looks good. If a, someone has a good fashion sense, yeah. like a really sick fashion sense, and they put some Crocs on, okay. fine, do it. I like that. But people who are just... Mm, like doing it to try to be like edgy or something. People who aren't edgy, putting them on to be edgy. Okay, fair. And they're not edgy. Yeah, fair. Fair enough. I think you feel it quite... Makes, it makes in... me feel a bit ill. Rachel, holes in your shoes and then it's water gonna be all coming right. through. It's going to be all right. Rachel, imagine that you splash in a puddle and then they have <laughs> so Really, this one really grinds my gears. I hate the word. You might be able to say it with me. Moist. Three, it begins with an L. Oh, a lush. Yeah. Three, two, one. Lush. Yeah, I absolutely bleeding hate that word. Everything about it makes my skin crawl. It's just so That's such a bad unpopular opinion to end with. I know, but I one. just I'm gonna hate think of a good it. one. Okay. Wait, you didn't say what your opinion on Lush is. Well, I hate it. Yeah, okay. Um <laughs> Well I hate it. <laughs> think of something real juicy. My unpopular opinion is that maybe you should stop sucking your pants. <laughs> <laughs> my unpopular opinion <laughs> is that and not enough nans in the UK get sucked. <laughs> Do you agree or what? Yeah. Period. Yeah. I um. Can I ask you an, uh, uh, to give your opinion on these? Be honest. I really like them. Okay. I just wanted to say that in every if you if you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, that's like disrespectful in a way yeah. don't you think get yeah. those views up get those views up um my unpopular <laughs> what the hell <laughs> i hate it when i jump because you can recover back from it so quickly but for me it makes me feel so worried that's really scary um my unpopular opinion i think that tiktok is the most um toxic app out of all of them yeah 100 percent. because one it's literally crazy like the dopamine hits that each one gives you and you, if okay this it's is so a question unnatural. this is a question to ask yourself for self-reflection when think back to the last time you were on tiktok oh yeah we have what is one video you watched on there that you remember yeah so say you spend two hours scrolling on tiktok recall the videos you watched recall five of the videos that you watched it's crazy. When you go on YouTube, you type someone up, you look at the titles and you click it and you watch it and you consume it. But on TikTok, you're literally mindlessly, and also like people just post for views. Like exactly. people post to get viral. And it's just like, why? Okay. Like, you don't post on your bloody Snapchat story wanting to go viral. It's a bit of just a weird little culture they've got going on mm -hmm. there. And people just should suck their nans more. Yeah. I think that it, it would be a positive. I think your news resolution should be to suck your 
Well, I think we would be a happier generation as a whole if we just like started to suck our nans more. Mm. <laughs> maybe even get like the granddads involved. Any, any... Should we just tell them on three, two, one, suck your nans and go? Okay. Okay. Three, two, one, suck no. your nans. <laughs> what you just said do that <laughs> also that is actually the end of this video i hope you really enjoyed it also i just want to say i'm not actually bulky like this makes me look really bulky but that's why i didn't wear it because it's just like they're, they're just such square pajamas yeah like they go like that and it's like i'm actually a slender man <laughs> a slender man <laughs> Oh, me, no, and that was a good one. me and Rachel are going through a phase where we find like, okay, like, wait, a, ten, depth like a nine year old boy's humour. Like we yeah. find it so funny. Like if Rachel tells me to suck my nails, oh, it will always get me going. Um, anyway, guys, I don't know if I'm talking loud because I've got these earmuffs on, but I really hope you enjoyed watching that video. I really enjoyed filming it. And I will see you next Thursday for a brand new video. Suck your nails. Okay, bye.